Hi everybody and uh, welcome to the first of my teardown vids. This is going to be a bit like Mike's electric stuff or EEV blog or something like that but maybe a little bit shorter. Now this device that we have here is a solar powered hanging basket rotator. Um, it was one of two that we acquired but this one unfortunately got dropped um, and that may well have written it off. I'm not, uh, not sure about that yet but we'll have a look and see what the damage actually is. What you actually do with it is it has a handle, it has a, a, a hook like that which goes over the uh, hook on your hanging basket uh, bracket and you hang the basket on the bottom and then every so often the little motor inside there rotates and it twiddles the basket round so the idea is that the, the, the plants all grow um, equally um, in different directions rather than all like they normally do um, all taking off in the same direction towards the sun anyway so the damage to it was you can see it's broken there that just comes off it's like a kind of bend and the solar panel which is this little thing um, was um, fastened in there glued in there with some hot glue material um, but as you can see it's fallen out and the metallization on the panel where the connections were soldered to has also pulled away and gone so that's no no use whatsoever unfortunately um, but be interesting to see if we can find some substitute for that um, it's called a Sumuncle SC5520-10 um, and I googled it extensively to see if I could find anything similar on the internet but unfortunately not um, managed to get the meter, uh, voltmeter to get, uh, just, just rest on the metallization what's left of it on either end um, and it's sort of like you can't really tell, you can't make good enough contact it measures sort of like 6 or 7 volts um, but looking at the number of cells that there actually are on here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 I don't know much about these but I'm assuming if they're about half a volt a piece then um, you know we're looking probably at about five or six volts something like that so maybe, maybe the measurement wasn't uh, that far out now this you can pull the insides out and it comes out like that as you can see leaving some of the gears behind inside now this pulls in half and the connections to the solar cell go to these connections on this little board in here and on the board there's two capacitors, 2,200 microfarads each, which is actually quite a lot in total. Oops, that's just come off. And on the board itself, there is also, looks like a transistor. Can't quite read what it says. Uh, and a board with, whether you can see that, um, chip on the board covered over with the with the epoxy potting compound a um, couple of resistors and, and a transistor which could be a driver device and these are connected directly to that one there to the PC track that leads to the motor um, little DC motor so because we've already got one of these things that works and we've actually hung it up outside and I know I know that it's actually being a timer that device so every so often what happens is um, the timer energizes the motor and it runs for a very short period of time only maybe a quarter of a second or something like that but it's enough to twiddle the output hook down by about a quarter of a turn through that gear train um, the really interesting thing about it is is that that solar panel there's no way that is powerful enough to drive that motor no way it works on the principle that this panel which is literally only a little bit bigger than the ones that you get in the calculator um, is going to charge these two capacitors and it's the two capacitors there that will provide the energy for the actual motor to operate um, for the short period of time that it does so in the bottom of there gears as we've said if I can just take that out and what we've got down there is we've got in the bottom is we've got the big gear that meshes with the gear on here and tra actually transfers the drive to the output hook and then underneath that 
as you probably won't be able to see there's a sort of a rudimentary ball bearing which is just designed obviously to carry the weight of the hanging basket and transmit it to the case so that is about it what I need to try to do is to try to, try to find out from the working on what the voltage of that what the voltage of this um, cell really is um, and then see if we can actually uh, improvise something um, maybe even using dry batteries so just so I can make it work uh, it seems a shame to have to throw it away just because you know because of that really isn't it all right well there you go anyway hope you enjoyed that and uh, catch you next time <laughs>